Slide both battery release latches to release the battery. Lift and remove the battery. This door includes a security screw option. To install the security screw, remove the thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screw from its storage position in the battery bay and fully insert it into the installed service door. If the security screw is installed, it needs the battery out. Slide both battery release latches to release the service door. Lift off the service door and remove it. Three 6mm P1 Phillips head screws identified with a keyboard icon on the base enclosure. Note, if the heat shield has been removed, only two 6mm P1 Phillips head screws need to be removed. Turn the notebook right side up and open the display panel fully. Slide the keyboard towards the front of the notebook to release it. Using your finger or a flat-bladed non-marring tool, gently lift up on the rear edge of the keyboard and slide the keyboard towards the rear of the notebook to release the tabs at the front of the keyboard. Important, do not lift the keyboard further away from the notebook than necessary to access the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the keyboard ZIF connector and remove the keyboard ribbon cable. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard. Place the keyboard upside down on the top cover so that the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector are accessible. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Carefully turn over the keyboard and tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the keyboard into the top cover and press the keyboard flat. Slide the keyboard towards the rear of the notebook to re-engage the locking tabs underneath. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the three 6mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the keyboard to the notebook. Note, if the heat shield has been removed, only two 6mm P1 Phillips head screws need to be replaced. The third screw will be replaced with a heat shield. Position the service door into the opening in the base enclosure, just short of being fully seated. While pressing down, slide the service door into position over the base enclosure until it clicks into place. It needs to be removed and replaced when the service door is removed and replaced. Tow the bottom outer edge of the battery into the battery bay. Press the inner edge of the battery down until it clicks into place. 